So there are a couple of video subjects that are just sort of rites of passage when it comes to making videos about Game Maker and posting them on YouTube for the whole world to see. Those can be things like screen shake or room transitions or the enigmatic do until loop, which you rarely ever have to actually use, but when you do find a reason to use it, you feel awesome. Another such subject is the nine slice. I have not actually talked about nine slices on this YouTube channel before. A number of other people have. If you've ever used or heard of nine slices in the context of Game Maker, you probably at some point seen Sean Spaulding's video on it. He made a pretty good one a couple of years ago. Up until about a week ago, if you wanted to use a nine slice in Game Maker, uh, you would have had to write your own code for it, and it would have kind of been kind of gross and just a, a monolithic block of code that just looks kind of like this. It's not the most elegant thing you've ever seen. But recently, uh, within the last week or so, Game Maker received a beta update which added support for 9 slices uh, built in natively. So what one is, what a 9 slice is, for those of you who haven't seen them before, if you have a uh, if you have a sprite such as this, it's a simple rectangle. Mine is 48 by 48. I believe it's actually scaled up, so it's really like 24 by 24. And if you wanted to, uh, let me run the game. And this would allow you to use the same sprite to draw any rectangle on the screen, any message box on the screen, and it wouldn't look unnaturally stretched in any way. You see them all the time in things like game UI and pause menus and dialog boxes like this one. If you've never seen Sean Spaulding's video on it, uh, definitely go watch it because it's a pretty good video. He covers a lot of use cases for it, if I recall. So Game Maker recently received support to do this just built in, uh, without having to write any any new code. So if you're watching this video more than a couple of weeks in the future, this will be just part of Game Maker. This will just be part of regular Game Maker. Check what runtime you're using. If you look in the upper right of the screen and see runtime version 2.3.2 or greater, then you're good to go. This is going to be included in Game Maker. If your runtime version instead says 2.3.1 or lower then uh, you'll need to either update Game Maker to see if you missed an update at some point, or you'll need to use the beta version, which is what I'm using right now. If your runtime version says v23.1 point something weird like that, some weird number, then you're already using the beta. If you don't know how to access the beta, uh, it's fairly simple. All you have to do is go to uh, your YoYo Games account and log in. And I really wish I could stay logged in. Oh, there we go. Game Maker's login system is weird. Uh, go to Game Maker, download. You will see if you own Game Maker Studio 2, you will also have a tab over here. This is Game Maker Studio 2 Beta. Go to that, um, confirm and download, and then download whichever version for your, your preferred operating system that you're currently using. And this will give you access to beta versions of Game Maker. All the usual warnings apply. Uh, these are still in development that uh, you can and will find bugs in the beta version. Uh, once you, once that's done downloading, you can just install it. It'll be installed uh, separately if you, from your main version of Game Maker, so you can have them both installed at the same time. I don't think we need to go through that right now. So once you open up the beta version of Game Maker, if you look in the sprite editor over here, the uh, the sprite properties form, it looks mostly the same as it did before, but there has been one addition in the form of this little nine slice box on the side. If you click on it, if you open it up, you will see some things appear. Uh, there's a couple grid lines. Uh, actually, I was messing with this before I started recording, but the first time you open up this nine slice box, it looks something like this. So you're going to see four grid lines, which are just outlining the sprite. On the right over here, you're going to see a, uh, a copy of the sprite, and there's going to be a blue rectangle around it. And if you, uh, if you stretch the sides of the rectangle, uh, you will see that the sprite stretches, as you would expect. And when you start playing with these purple grid lines, in the, uh, in the left half, you will see that something interesting happens as you drag these uh, grid lines around. And that is that you can see that these four lines cuts the sprite into nine slices, hence the name nine slice. You have the upper upper left, you have the upper right, you have the lower left, the lower right, top, bottom, uh, left, right, and center. The ones in the middle are the ones of particular interest, so the center, the left, the right, the top, and the bottom are the, uh, the parts of the sprite of particular interest. You can see that they highlight when you click on them. Uh, if, you, uh, if you invert the highlight type, you'll see everything but the sections that you click on are highlighted. I'm going to go back to overlay because I think that's more useful. And what this does is it automatically calculates the nine slices for you, and it automatically draws them uh, if, you, uh, if you look in the preview on the side. And you can zoom out on this. You can stretch this however you want. And you will have these, the uh, sections of the sprite in the middle be stretched, and the sections of the sprite in the corner being... Um, being scaled one-to-one -one, uh, without being stretched. And this will allow you to, in-game, 
uh, have a draw a rectangle out of a sprite of any size and have it sliced like this nicely without being stretched in unnatural ways. So if I were to um, if I were to move the rightmost guide all the way over to the right, you would see that the right half of the sprite, well, the right third of the sprite really will be drawn stretched. If I were to move the leftmost guide all the way back to the uh, to the end of the sprite, you'll see the same thing happens on the left, the top, and the bottom. This is not something you would particularly want to see if you create something like a dialog box or a message box or a menu background in your game. Uh, you would probably much rather prefer having something like this where the, uh, where the sides of the sprite are the original size and it's only the middle section that's, that's stretched. And to use this in game, uh, there's actually no new drawing functions which have been, um, which have been added to Game Maker regarding nine slices. So if I were to go and let's see, I believe the only place where the, uh, the nine slices is actually drawn is in the player's uh, draw GUI event. Let's see, let's make this bigger. I'll just maximize that. Uh, this is the player's draw GUI event. It's not the most complicated. It's not terribly important. This is just kind of some scaffolding that I've set up for this, uh, this base project that I use in tutorials once in a while. The draw nine slice function, this is the one that I've written on my own. It's here. Uh, this is what I showed you earlier. And it's just being drawn as basically a, um, a background on, below the text. And uh, if you were talking to an NPC or something, you draw the text over it. And if you hit the space bar, then it goes away. It's quite simple. If I were to comment this out, if you just want to see that this is the part of code where this is running, uh, if I were to comment this out, you will see that if I go up to one of the dogs and talk, uh, there is no more background behind them. So firstly, before we draw anything with the nine slice, we are going to uh, just use draw sprite stretched. Uh, draw sprite stretched is one of the many ways of drawing a sprite in Game Maker. I believe it takes the same arguments as this uh, this function over here, does it? Not quite. Uh, we'll just give it a sprite index, which is going to be spr9 slice. Uh, we're going to give it a subimage, which is just zero. That's going to be the image index, the frame of animation. It's just going to be zero. Uh, the x is going to be zero. Y is going to be uh, this value here, window get height minus 128. That's going to be the Y position on the screen where this is going to be drawn. Uh, window get width is going to be the width. So it spans the entire width of the window and window get height. Uh, instead of um, instead of giving it window get height, we're just going to give it its, uh, its actual height for the nine slice. And that's going to be 128. And that's going to draw the, uh, the sprite in a rectangle between zero and 128 above the window height. And... Um, the window width and, and the total window height. We're gonna draw some sprites. I can walk up to you, and when I talk to you, this is a very, very, very ugly indeed sprite being drawn stretched out uh, between the um, between those two positions on the screen. Okay, let's do that with a nine slice. So if I go back to, uh, where was I? I accidentally closed it. If I go back to the sprite editor and click Activate Nine Slice, uh, save my game, save my progress, save my project, do nothing else, and just run the game again. Uh, we are going to see that nothing, we haven't had to change anything else, but the Nine Slice is back. Uh, game Maker is now doing this automatically. You can, of course, still do this the same way that you would have before uh, with, the, uh, with the old draw Nine Slice code, but you really don't need to because Game Maker will just do it automatically with the, uh, the new Nine Slice tools. It's pretty nice. Okay, if you want to, um, I'm not going to go too, too overboard showing different sized rectangles on the screen that I can draw with a nine slice. That's something that I think would be a lot more fun for you guys to play around with on your own. Instead, there is one more thing I will talk about with them, and that is this down here, the, uh, the tile mode. So there are different ways, oops, there are different ways that you can um, tile out. Uh, there are different ways that you can stretch or tile the sections of, come on, it's very annoying. Uh, the sections of, uh, of Sprite in the middle, the sections of the Sprite in the middle. So the uh, the center section, um, left, right, top, bottom. There are different ways that you can handle these sections of the Sprite. By default, it will be stretched. You can also have, um, all right, first let me edit the Sprite. I will make a couple minor changes to the Sprite. I will just, um, I will just draw a couple notches on the top of the spray and the bottom of the spray. 
Some of them can be a little bit wider than others. And this is going to allow you to, uh, I guess I can do it with the, uh, with the sides as well. This is just going to allow you to see how Game Maker goes about uh, drawing the sections in the middle. And you will see that by default, uh, these sections in the middle are stretched. Actually, let's go back to the sprite editor first. It'll be a little bit easier to see. So by default, the tile mode is a uh, is stretch. There are other ways to do that. If I select the rightmost section of this nine slice sprite and change that instead to repeat, you can see that if I were to zoom in a little bit. All right, fine. Game maker, stop uh, stop bringing the asset browser and stuff back when I run the game. It's very annoying. You can see that now instead of stretching out the section in the middle of the slice on the right. Uh, when I uh, draw the nine slice, if you set it to repeat, it'll instead be tiled. It'll actually be tiled. It'll be repeated. If I set it to, I believe, a uh, hide will just make it go away entirely, which isn't really what you want. If you set it to blank repeat, it'll just uh, it'll be drawn once, and then it won't repeat after that. Mirror will uh, will make it kind of go back and forth mirrored, and you can set this property for. Oops, where did it go? All right, here we go. You can set this property. For any of the slices, uh, any of the any of the stretchable slices, the top, the bottom, the left, the right, and the middle. Uh, if you do it, you can see I have different tile modes for the left and the right currently. I can, of course, uh, set the um, set the right tile mode to repeat as well. And now you can see the uh, sections of the, uh, the the leftmost side of the sprite are repeating instead of being uh, stretched out as they were before. If I were to um, do that to the bottom. We can have the bottom repeat, and now there is a little bit of a jagginess going around on the bottom, happening on the bottom. And of course, you can do the same thing to the top if you want. If you wanted to put something in the middle, let's uh, let's just like draw a line through the middle. Let's draw an X through the middle. Okay, X is a pretty nice uh, letter of the alphabet, I would say. You can see the middle of the sprite is stretched. The X is stretched from from one corner to the other. If instead you wanted that to be repeated, you could have something like this. And let's uh, let's make that part at the top. And now the X in the middle is repeated. If you have some sort of texture in the nine slice that you want to um, draw repeating instead of just having a blank, uh, a blank color, you can of course do this. If you instead set it to mirror, the X's will be sort of like paired up uh, left and right, top and bottom. Uh, blank repeat will probably not look very good at all. That's probably not an option that's probably not a setting that you want to turn on for pretty much anything, but you can always do it. And of course, hide will make it go away. Let's set it to uh, let's set it to repeat because that looks pretty nice. So now, if you run the game, uh, what you see here, this preview, this will be accounted for uh, when you draw. No, there we go. Okay, I missed somehow. Uh, this th these settings will be accounted for when you run the game. I generally prefer to just have a solid color in the middle of dialog boxes because I think this sort of thing is kind of distracting when you have a pattern behind the text. Unless it's like a very light pattern, then maybe it's okay. But you can do whatever you want. So as for actually drawing these uh, these nine slices themselves, uh, draw a sprite stretch is fine. I've been told that it also works with some of the other sprite drawing functions, which take a width and, width and height into account, but I haven't tested them with all of them yet. For the most part, using draw sprite stretch should be fine when it comes to drawing a nine slice because it provides a width and a height. Uh, which is usually helpful when it comes to such things instead of just a X and Y scale factor, which is a little bit uh, messier to work with for stuff like this. There are some functions which have been added, which are um, which relate to nine slices. There's sprite get nine slice, sprite nine slice create, and sprite set nine slice. Uh, there's also a bunch of nine slice constants which have been added. Uh, these this function here, draw nine slice. That's the one that I wrote that I've been using up until now, and SPR underscore nine slice is just the sprite that I've been messing with this whole time. These, I believe, are for modifying nine slice information on the fly. If you did something like load a sprite from a file and you wanted to apply nine slice information to them, uh, you would be able to use one of these functions. They are not documented yet. If you open the manual, uh, you, will, you won't be able to find any documentation on these functions yet. It'll just open to a blank page. It'll just open to the front page, I should say. So I don't know how to use this. I haven't uh, talked to anyone yet in, in the Game Maker community who has messed around with these yet, but I do suspect that's what these are for. I imagine that if you were to load a sprite from an external file or something, uh, you would be able to use these functions to do things like copy nine slice information from an existing sprite or 
set the uh, the left right up and up and bottom top and bottom bounds for the slice coordinates as well as things like the uh, the tile settings the tile repetition settings but regardless I'm gonna stop. If you want the code for this, I've really kind of deleted more code in this video than I've added, but if you want the code for this all the same, if you want to mess around with this project file, look in the video description. I will have a link to a GitHub repository where you can do just that. I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute towards these videos being made, there will be links to that in all the usual places as well. This video is fairly straightforward, but I do like to talk about some of the weirder stuff you can do in Game Maker. Otherwise, I hope you all found that useful, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to David Key, Edward Holt, Emily Coyo, Posho, and Zenith for supporting these videos. If you want your name in the credits or to hear yourself shouted out at the end, head on over to the Patreon page in the video description to join the fun.